that's fun. My neighbors are getting a lot more work done outside than I am. Ah. <laughs> yep. Uh, looking good, feeling good. That's what I'm doing. Uh, how you guys doing? It's Sunday, and that means that tomorrow is another day of the week where we have to be fierceful and dive out and do our jobs and do the work and finish school and I know those things. Today is the last day to either rest a little bit, take care of some yard work at the house, frantically do all the things that you really wanted to do on your weekend but didn't have a chance to because you slept in all day yesterday or had a family gig. But Sunday, today, I have decided effectively to do none of the things that I really feel like I probably absolutely need to do to be a functioning adult. And instead I've decided to do all of the things that I need to do to make my heart happy. I made a, oh okay, let's start at the beginning. I am still wearing my pajamas. Let's start at the beginning. I uh, slept in. I actually achieved a sleep in. I never can do that. My body, my clock, in my head, uh, as soon as I have about like six hours of sleep, my body just shoots awake and I'm just like, well, I'm here now. Even though like, that's not enough and I'm like disastrously tired, I still just get those, uh, I still just wake up. But today, I didn't. Today I actually slept in. I think uh, I got like nine hours of sleep today and that felt great in and of itself. That was just amazing. And, uh, I feel so much better, like just, I kind of just feel better, like all up and down. Uh, I think that uh, that was nice. And then after that, I was still feeling good from getting that extra sleep in. I uh, stayed in bed and I did a little tiny bit of writing, pulled up my little laptop and just kind of uh, danced on the keyboard a little bit and come up with a, a couple cool little things, had a couple little brain explosions of some cool stuff. And then I went downstairs and I spent an hour, an hour tediously making just, oh, mm. this is a delightful stack of pancakes. That then me and Firefly ate on the couch in the afternoon, because it was like 12.30 at that point. And uh, we sat in the afternoon and had breakfast uh, in the afternoon. Relaxed for a minute. Uh, that was nice. That was just chill and relaxing. And then I got to, I pulled out my laptop again, sat down, and I wrote exactly one page. But in my mind, I have, uh, after, as someone who has written a novel three times, I think I've written, I think I've successfully written three novels, never gotten any of them published, and have said that two of them were garbage. So I threw those away. And then, uh, you know, either did a rewrite I did a rewrite or one and that's one that's getting self-published uh, a re, re self published again on Amazon for the Burn Brothers that I wrote with uh, Mike Casey and myself uh, he, he's on the channel or so and so uh, and I wrote a uh, thing with him a little novella that's kind of like super obscure it's gonna go back up. I'll talk more about that and uh, wrote a couple things that I just will never see the light of day because I just decided to just scrap them because they, they didn't make sense. They were riddled with errors. Like, my very first novel that I ever finished was just awful. It is, it is so badly written. <laughs> but you know what? I still have the manuscript for it. I'm going to keep it forever because it was so bad. <laughs> I cannot believe that, uh, that, that all those words came out of me. And I spent a long time writing that, just, like, straight writing. I, uh, uh, I had, uh, at that point in time, so I am a college graduate, but at that point in time when I was working on that, my first novel, I had dropped out of college, uh, and I just dedicated my time to just writing that. I was like, I'm going to give myself this time. I'm going to make my masterpiece. Uh, and I spent like the weekends driving and to different places and doing like landscaping work to make like enough money for rent or enough money to possibly eat that week. And then I, uh, I wrote my novel like, all day long, all day and night. I would write and write and write and write and write, and I finished it after a few months. And oh my god, it was hot garbage! It was so awful. Uh, and I was like, oh my god, I cannot believe that I wrote this. But you know what, though, it has given me the the thing to know that I can do it, which is great. But anyway, what was, what I was getting at is I wrote the first page of a new novel today that I'm feeling pretty 
pretty good about. The first page is always the hardest for me. Just sitting down and getting that first page. The second the first page is done, I can just start going. I can just start clicking and clacking in and, and moving through and getting that stuff going. And I uh, just always struggle with that a lot. I've got like 15 other book ideas, like half finished manuscripts that I just like continuously go back and just like rewrite the first page of it. And so I'm like, oh, this doesn't make sense. Uh, nothing in chapter 10 makes sense because of what I did on the first page. And I just, you know, freak out about that. So today I felt really good because once I had finished that first page, I just, you know, slapped that last word on there for the first page and was like, this is all right. I feel pretty good. This is nice. Uh, so, man, just today is just vibing. This is just a Sunday. Just vibing real good. And, yeah, I've been writing. And I, you know, I've got lawn to mow i got some uh laundry and dishes and stuff you know that need to get taken care of but i'm just chilling i i'm making i'm stressing myself out a little too much here and there you know trying to get projects and trying to get stuff uh going and my training and stuff for like my, my fitness and everything i'm just stressing myself out a little too much uh especially like having to go back in the office this week was real hard because it just kind of made me feel weird but uh yeah, so I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, I got some writing that I'm actually going to uh, uh, read to you guys this week that I'm feeling pretty pretty proud of. So I'm gonna gonna give you guys a little taste of some of that stuff, and I think uh, I might have another gaming clip or two. Maybe we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Might have another clip or two, and then after that, man, the world's the oyster. But I'm just feeling good. I'm feeling good today. Did a little TLC for myself. I think that was. I think that's what I really needed. A little TLC, a little actual just care and doing some stuff that I just actually wanted to do, not that I felt like I had to do. I really like that. A uh, couple things that are going to be in the work. Um, so yeah, uh, I've got my book of poetry, which again, I'll talk more about. I don't really advertise it, but I had a long talk with Firefly and she said that I really need to start actually advertising myself. The stuff I want to do, I got to actually start, got to actually start doing it like promoting myself and everything because otherwise I'm just kind of sitting here doing nothing and uh so I got you know a poetry book I've got a uh book that's going to be back up there on uh I'm gonna, tonight or tomorrow I'll let you know that it's going to be back up and ready to purchase I'm going to start promoting that a little bit more it's very 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 strange book that's not really like anything I've ever read it's written in a very weird way uh it's called the Burn Brothers a film novella and so it's written from the standpoint of like, you know, you're watching a film. So it kind of talks about the camera angles as it turns to like, you know, show somebody. And it talks about like film effects and like, you know, when certain things didn't meet like the budget requirements in the film. Just kind of weird like that. So it's kind of like, so it's kind of like you're watching uh, the director's commentary almost of a film, but it's in a book. So, uh, and because it's me and Mike, uh, it's a zombie horror. So it's just kind of like our shtick. I think we'll probably in the course of our lives write a few books together and they'll all be probably zombie horror books because that's just kind of what we do together we just hang out we play zombie games we watch zombie horror movies and stuff and that's just uh it's just what we do <laughs> i think it's just probably generally about once a month we'll get together and hang out and have a have like a cigar or pipe talk while uh talking about our plans what we would do if the end of the world happened you know, we always have to rehash our plans, so like that. And then I'm gonna have another one that comes out, and uh, I want to see. I'm gonna hopefully be able to get it done. I am, <clears throat> uh, you know, since this channel wasn't uh, this, you know, rehashing of the channel was inspired because of the Unisonis. I am working on an Unisonis themed project that will hopefully be done around the year anniversary of Unisonis uh, when it ended. So also when it began circle so uh i hope that you know that'll get done but besides that just kind of vibing today hanging out make some dinner in a little bit i might throw a few veggies in there i've been eating super great the past couple days and my body can feel it so i think that might contribute some of the stress that i was having but yeah i'm gonna drink some water a lot of water and then i'm just gonna gonna continue doing that i'm just gonna have a nice nice sunday so i hope you guys are having a good sunday hope that you're ready for this week in whatever capacity you need to be ready in and no, you guys can do what you set your minds to. I believe in you. 12 Gage believes in you. It's a promise. So, friends, have a good Sunday. Peace out, guys. Bye! Hmm. You know, I haven't checked on it in a while, and ooh! 
what do I see here? I see my peach tree. And my peach tree doth bring things. Oh, I don't know what that was. Look, look, it's starting to sprout. Uh, I have hiccups. I'm just so excited. They're peaches.